This is One on One. You are looking at Tao Porshan Lynch, and there must be a misprint here because it says she is a 93-year-old uh, yoga instructor turning 94 in August. She has been recognized as the world's oldest yoga instructor by the Guinness Book of World Records. That has to be a misprint, correct? No, no, that's, that, I don't know why, really, I'm truly. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. I don't believe in age. Well, I have to ask you, there's so many things about you I find interesting. You've been teaching yoga for 45 years. More than that, yes. More than that? Yes. Uh, other than the fact that you look fabulous and you're in great shape, yes. what caused you to get into yoga? Um, actually, when I was very young in India, I saw boys on the, uh, on the beach with a class on, on yoga. And I said, I want to join it. And my aunt said, no, it's not for ladies. And I said, well, if boys can do it, I can do it. So I just started in, when I was in Pontichet. And then from Pontichet, I saw some uh, uh, yoga people come in, and I worked with them. Then I was interested in what, I, uh, what was I doing? Why, why am I on this earth? If I want to know more about myself and not just do postures. And so I uh, eventually, I went to some of the masters. I went to uh, uh, Mysore and uh, to see Patabha Joyce, mm. to see um, uh, Mr. Iyengar. These are very important people. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, so I, I can't say I know all the names of the people <laughs> you're do, talking about. Oh, those are uh, three of the masters. And, uh, and Indra Deva was, she died at 104. Mm. She, and she, she did yoga. I, 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 we're in public broadcasting. I would consider them, I would say, the Bill Moyers of yoga. But, <laughs> uh, that's the only way I can, I can relate. But, but I want to ask you, what has yoga done for you? I think it's opened, opened up from my inside. You know that there's so much fear in the world. People are always telling you, don't do this, don't do that. They're always telling me what I can't do. And I'm, I don't believe that. I believe that inside of me is this power. Not somewhere out in space, mm. but with every breath I take, I can have not only a visual, but a, an in, a inside touching with the creation of life. And yoga has helped me come through a lot of things that people say, well, you won't be able to do this, you won't be able to do that. That's nonsense. You had an underground experience. I, I, you've told our producers that uh, yoga helps you stay calm. It does. And, and deal with fear. And I often, there have been times that I've experienced anxiety, whether it's during this show or before a major speech. We feel anxiety. We feel nervousness. Absolutely. And you have said that yoga helps with our breathing and helps yes. us stay calm. This under, underwater experience, describe it. You mean, uh, well, uh, I've never been scared of anything, really. Really? <laughs> no. Because of yoga? Because of yoga. But also in my life, um, I marched with Gandhi in 1938 and 39. With Gandhi? Yes. I, uh, he taught me a few things because uh, there were several of us. There was this wonderful man, do uh, doctor, uh, woman, Dr. Wealthy Fisher, who, who started world education and died also in over 100 years old. She was there. There was Dr. Deshmukh, who was 19, uh, illiterate, and became finance minister. And all of these things, and whatever Gandhi said, no fear, don't be scared. Not if you believe in something, do it. Don't procrastinate. Tomorrow never comes. Do it now, because it gets stale tomorrow, and it gets more decay inside of you if you're worried about something. Something good will always come. I, I know my husband used to make fun of me and call me Pollyanna. <laughs> and because I, if we had a calamity, he'd say, you always say something good is going to come of it. But it always does. You believe that? Absolutely. Why do you say, Tao, that we recycle ourselves? I look at nature. I think nature is incredible. As you look at the four seasons, you realize that actually it's almost advertising that we can do the same thing. It's now in full bloom. 
but less than six weeks ago, it, it was looked at, the trees all looked dead. Everything looked dead. The grass hadn't grown, nothing. But the grass grows up with a force. Mm. The first thing that came out with the trees was the blossoms. So you smelt the fragrance. Then you saw the leaves start come out. Now it's going in full bloom. When it gets a little tired, it will relax mm. during the, winter, uh, the autumn. And then it will spring forth again. Mm. So it's telling me that within myself, don't be scared of it, but just open up your heart center. Listen to your heart. Listen to that wonderful thing that's inside of you, and you will re recycle yourself. The doctor told me that I wouldn't be able to lift off the ground in lotus, so I sent him a photograph. By the way, lotus is a certain position. Yes. And I and, lift off the ground. And by the way, this is it? the book. By the way, I'm still working on Downward Dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, this is Reflections, um, The Yogic yes. Journey of Life, Tao Porshan Lynch. Yes. And by the way, real, 30 seconds, I have to ask you, 30 seconds left. You have taken up, after your 2003 hip replacement, yes. right? You've taken up ballroom dancing. Yes, I'm going to. Why do you love that? I do it because whereas yoga is the inner, inner side, Dancing is the spark, it's like champagne. It makes you <laughs> lift up and feel happy. Well, we are very happy that you're with us. Um, Ty, you're terrific. Thank you. And we have a good feeling just by having you here. Well, bless you. It's, bless it's you. It's been wonderful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I stay just, right there. Just stay right there. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel better because she's here. Hopefully, you feel better just for watching. Thanks. We'll be right back uh, from the Tish WNET studios. Thank you. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET Studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Adler Aphasia Center, empowering, enhancing, and enriching the lives of people with aphasia and their families. The Russell Berry Foundation, Fedway Associates, Inc., J.H. Cohn, Accountants and Consultants. We turn expertise into results and by PSE&G, committed to improving New Jersey's economy and strengthening its communities. Promotional support provided by The Record, North Jersey's trusted source and NorthJersey.com. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.